Hello everyone, uh, I'm Matt. Welcome back once again to another episode of Bass to Place Technic. Uh, so today we're going to be looking at some of the stuff we did last time. Uh, we have all these fantastic machines. I put some upgrades in them basically to make them move faster. Uh, everything's got power, except the problem is, see how it's moving a little bit? It's jerky. Well, it's, it's using up all the power as we create it. See how the power level's down? Uh, this generator is out of fuel. Uh, here's some wood. And basically I set up this pump. Pumps the wood down the pipe and into the bottom of the generator. Uh, I don't remember if I got that working last time. Uh, I added a second solar panel. And uh, I added this transformer thinking uh, we could upgrade our bat box. So instead of only being able to store a certain amount of power, uh, would store a ridiculous amount of power. So this stores 40,000 and the upgrade stores uh, an MFV unit stores 600,000. So we definitely want to get the upgrade because this just this just isn't cutting it. And so the ability to kind of stock up on power uh, that'll last us a while. So I mean this macerating process it's just not working. And then over here I mean we're barely able, even able to smelt anything. It's it's just pathetic. Um, I have this great pipeline set up that takes things as they're macerated, sticks them in the electric furnace, and then the furnace sticks them in this chest here. See, I've been going through a lot of stuff. Uh, I, went, I did a little bit of caving, just a little bit. I found some more diamond, which is fantastic. A little bit more uranium. Uh, I, I've been smelting, I've been extracting, macerating. Uh, <laughs> macerating. I chopped down, or I started chopping down at least another tree over here. Uh, I could show you that. I, I still have the remnants of an axe. Actually, I think it's... Oh, uh, it's just about all gone. Um, another one of these rubber trees. Uh, I found out that you can actually use the wood. I tried it. I, I put the wood in the extractor, and sure enough, it does produce uh, some rubber. The thing is, though, it's it's just such an inefficient means of attaining rubber. It's so much easier to just get some sticky resin, and we've got enough regular rubber trees that it's it's just not even an, an issue. It's a non-issue, you might say. Non-issues are the best kinds of issues, at least in my opinion. I guess it depends on your point of view. Maybe, maybe if you're like the Joker, non-issues are. You know, that's interfering with your job, uh, causing problems. You know, anybody really that has a day-to-day a -day kind of routine where they get up, and they cause problems for other people, you're really going to be set back. Oh, man, I just broke my axe. Well, that's good because we should go back and drop off this wood anyway. Um, but what, what we're going to do today, basically we need more diamond. And in order to get more fuel, more resources, uh, so we don't have to spend all our time caving, or at least my time caving. We are, we're gonna go and we're gonna, we're gonna set up a quarry. Now I have, I do realize that I think I have enough diamond now to build a quarry, but we want to do other things with our diamond. We don't want to use it all up on a quarry, so <clears throat> we, we want a renewable source of diamond first. And so, oh, did you get... That was weird. So in order to have a re renewable source of, of diamond, uh, we're basically going to go to the nether, and in the nether we're going to get some glowstone, and then we're going to take a diamond and some glowstone and some redstone, and we're going to put it all together, and it's going to make a philosoph philosopher, philosopher stone. And the philosopher stone is going to let us go ahead and... Oh, the chest goes in front of the markers. That's weird. Um... Sorry, I got distracted just then. I don't even remember what I was saying. The Philosopher's Stone lets us um, build a transmutation table, and the transmutation table is going to go ahead and let us transmute things from whatever the hell it is to diamond or anything else. So it basically means no more caving, no more pissing around in the underground, just doing actual work, uh, getting things done, and that's what we like to see. 
I mean, this this production line here is it, it's pathetic. These machines aren't even on for half the time. You can see it's not even glowing 100%. It's it's just despicable. I mean, that's that's even with our generator and a second solar cell. So we've got this whole chest of shit. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna come up with oh man, that door is weird. We're gonna come up with a better way to do this. So first things first, I'm gonna eat a pork chop because I'm starving. Oh man, that was so satisfying. Not entirely satisfying, my hunger bar isn't full up, but it's close enough. Uh, this is probably going to be the next tree that I'm going to cut down here. <clears throat> Maybe that one over there next. So uh, we'll still have some fuel in the, in the form of wood. We'll be able to use that going forward. Where I'm going is over these oil wells over here <clears throat> with the massive amount of oil that I discovered while caving not caving, exploring. We saw it in the previous episode, but we're going to go back over there. And the reason we're going over there is because there's lava. I know that there's lava. Basically, it's like a flat volcano. I don't know specifically what mod it's from. I suppose we could use some of this obsidian too, but I don't have a diamond pick yet because I didn't create one. I'm extremely miserly when it comes to spending diamond. <clears throat> If anybody has ever played on a server with me, they'll know that I, I hoard all my diamond in the chest and I only use it when absolutely necessary. And uh, I, I only tend to build diamond tools when I know I have enough XP to, to have like a level 50 enchantment. So obviously that's going to put a kink in things, but we're not going to let it get in the way. Because, you know, we've got a job to do here. We're, we're going we're gonna to execute it to the best of our abilities. So, that's that. It's settled. There's, there's nothing else to this. So here's all that oil. But then you see how this is that weird volcano material? Basically what we need is we need a bunch of this lava. This terrible, terrible lava. So I'm kind of going to spiral my way down, being careful to stay out of the lava. Because the last thing we need is to be down here, kind of picking up all this lava, and then we end up falling in it. And then we lose everything we have. And that's obviously a bad thing. So I'm going to get another bucket. And there's no water around here. Alright, I can see some water on my map. Ah, oh, there's some water. We're just going to go get it. We only need a, one bucket of water. Oh, shit. Okay, that's fine. We've got enough hunger to refuel our health bar. It's just going to slowly uptick its way there. Uh, Alright, water. Just so that there's no glitchy bits. Oh man, I fell in. I didn't really want to go for a swim. I, I really just wanted to get some of that water and kind of get the hell out. So... Just because I really honestly don't care where the uh, where the nether portal is going to end up. Because, I mean, I could always destroy it if I think that, you know, it is a bad decision to place it where I end up placing it. If that ends up being the case, uh, we, can, we can always destroy it. We can always move it. Ah, oh, it's getting dark already. I feel like I just slept. Oh, man. Alright, well, we have some of the lava. And we can make some of the obsidian with that for the portal. So I'm just going to hightail it back. Uh, once I have a sleep, I'll meet you guys back here. So, uh, see you in a few seconds. Alright, so I've been collecting some obsidian. Uh, well, I haven't been collecting obsidian. I've been collecting the lava necessary to make the obsidian. Basically, I'm just plonking it down. Uh, I'll show you how I'm doing it. So you put down some lava pour some water on it, and basically that's it. I just happen to have the exact amount of lava that I need. Now some of you might be saying, Basta, come on, you're not going to need that buckets, ever. That many buckets. Wh what are you thinking, Basta? What kind of crazy son of a Basta are you? And I'm... I do not doubt that I will never use all of these buckets. Uh, I also do not doubt that I will need... That's the right shape, right? Yeah, I can never remember. 
I also do not doubt that uh, I'll need to go back for a flint and steel. But, see the thing about, oh, am I going the right way? No, I'm not. This is the right way. Oh, I'm almost out of food, too. I need to go get some more steaks. You, you know, I saw all those cows back there, and I said to myself, Self, is there something in that tree, or is it just a glitch? And it seems like the game is glitchy today for some reason. Um, I said to myself, Self, you should, um, you should probably bring that, that flint and steel, because you're, you're going into the nether. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm wearing iron armor. Made that for myself. Um, I had the foresight that I'm probably going to end up in a sticky situation, as I have been in the past. Oh, Jesus, I fell in the water again. Um, and I said, you know what, I'm going to make the investment, since I've got a metric ass load of, of iron ingots. I did all that mining, and I did all the maceration necessary. You know, maceration, it, it isn't cheap, frankly, you know, I'm harnessing the power of the sun, which is very eco-friendly, but I, it also takes some of that wood that I've, I've been cutting down. In fact, I might turn tree capitator back on, just because I need some wood to do some stuff. What happened here? Um, why is my house gone? Hello? 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 What? Why is this chunk missing? Alright, I'm just gonna see if I can fix this. Hold on. Okay, yeah, it, it just needed a... just needed a poke. What was that noise? Oh, that was one of my machines. Glitching out. Oh, God. Everything is just... It's getting, like, one little burst of stuff in. Look, it's it's so pathetic. It can't even do its job. It's trying to pump. It's, it's just trying to smelt one thing and it, it can't even do that. So, I'm going to turn that guy off. He's kind of already off. Um, can I put anything in here for, for the temporary moment of now? No. Um, next time... Uh, I already have planned what we're going to build, so you guys better be prepared. But for now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my shit away. Oh god, there's so much shit in my chest. Uh, I might have to build another chest. Just like a, like a stuff to throw away chest. For now. Uh, it, we'll get rid of it later. This is my stuff that's getting thrown away chest. We're going to recycle all this. Uh, I'm going to put all this stuff in here. Stuff that's going to get recycled. Yeah, there we go. Put some oh, we can't really put tools away. Stuff that's going to get recycled. All this nickelite. The only reason I even got the nickelite was so that I could... Uh, So that I could recycle it. I didn't actually intend to use all this nickelite. I mean, I don't even like nickelite. Uh, I'm going to save this lava, actually. Um, you'll see what I'm going to do with it in just a bit. Oh, man. Everything is so disorganized here. I'm just going to go through and take a whole load of crap. So we didn't end up using that, those ink sacks. Uh, I feel bad about recycling them, but you know what? Screw it. We, we really, it's not even necessary. Glistering melon, don't need it. Indigo flower, don't need it. So let's just chuck all this in this chest. All this, all this garbage. All that zombie meat. What are we going to do with zombie meat besides eat it? It's, it's not even, it's not even delicious. Uh, there's a bunch of raw beef here, which I'm just going to cook really quickly. Uh, I have enough coal to cook it. And some of you might be saying, you know what, Basta, for now, like, in the short term, i turn that off, in the short term, you could power your generator with some coal. And you know what, you're right. Oh, man, it's so loud. Every time. I don't know why it's that loud. Oh, God. Not 
not even the little the little tricks that you learn seem to work these days. My furnace is just like glitching out on and off. It doesn't have a whole lot of electricity to work with. Uh, I'm gonna turn that back on actually. God, our chest is so barren. And our shit to get rid of chest is already full. Uh, who would have thought? But s since we cooked some steak, we kind of waited patiently for it to finish cooking. Uh, we've got we've got a healthy supply of meat now. All these other furnaces, uh, basically, since we have this electric furnace and since we have the upgrades to make it go so goddamn fast, we don't even need anything else anymore to cook. So we could probably get rid of these furnaces. In fact, uh, I'm, I'm actually just going to make a bigger chest of shit to throw away. Just, I mean, honestly, think of all the crap that we can get rid of. And all that, everything in there is fine. Probably going to end up getting rid of a lot of that stuff anyway, but I don't need an egg. I might use those bones. Don't need the sugar cane, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know what I want to do with the rubber wood yet. And actually, I think that might be it. Get rid of these stupid wooden stairs and ah, flint. Flint can come in handy. So we're gonna look at how look at how empty this is. Oh, isn't that wonderful? And then in here, th this we're all we're gonna use all that stuff. And then here, uh, put that sandstone. That one block of sandstone that we somehow got. I can keep this dirt in case I need to do some tunneling. Tunneling up from underground. Don't want to use any cobblestone because just make a mess of the place. And put away this wrench. Oh, that's the wrong chest. Put away a wrench. Oh, we had the flint steel the whole time. Ah, oh, damn it. Wasted like so much. I'm gonna put away some of the stuff that I know that I won't need. I'm gonna put that much iron in that chest. Actually, I'm gonna put that much iron in this chest. And glass. We're gonna put the glass down there. We don't need glass in the nether. Put our bone arrow back on the hot bar. We need some torches. We don't need iron dust. We can put that up in here so we know that we need to do shit with it. And all this coal. We have a lot of coal. So we'll just leave it there. And the, I'll, I'll take care of the furnaces later, just because they take they take a while to uh get going. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to sleep sleep the night away, and then in the morning we're going to go over and we're going to open up the nether. Alright, so see you soon. Uh, so I woke up this morning, and I looked outside, and the weather is just its terrible. I know there's some creepers around, probably some spiders, uh, but we've got our armor on. Oh god, there's mobs. All sorts of mobs. They're all angry. God, everybody is just out to kill me these days, it seems. Oh, fucking stop it. Damn it. You assholes. Oh my god. I've used up, like, one of my hunger bars. This wolf has just been chilling around for ages. Let's see if he wants a bone. I only have one. Nope. He doesn't want it. You know what? He can go screw himself. Because I killed... I killed a skeleton with my bare hands, partially and uh, an iron sword, which I crafted from materials that I harvested with my bare hands. Uh, or indirectly. Um, the sword being made of materials that I made with my bare hands. Not, maybe not made, maybe mined. Okay, so I didn't actually do anything besides just use a sword on a skeleton. But that still took some time, and uh, it provided some entertainment value for you guys. Perhaps. I don't really know. Uh, mostly because you guys aren't leaving any feedback. So, that's your cue to go leave some comments on YouTube. You're probably reading this... Oh, what? Oh, I thought that was brick at first. How does it say this? It's weird. Uh, it's a creeper trapped in a hole. Th this weather is extremely ominous. It's like the game is saying, uh, Basta, turn back, you're so fucked. Oh, look at all those mobs over there. More spiders. Oh, this 
skeletons. You know what I understand? How? Why skeletons are such good aim? Oh, I thought I saw a spider there. All right. Uh, we don't have much time. I'm just gonna lay this down and let's go for it. Let's just rush the Nether. We'll just rush it. Here we are. Entering the Nether for the first time, first time ever in this world. Uh, I do have Nether ores turned on, so that should be an experience. Basically what we're here for, and I, I don't want to piss around for very long. I know this whole LP is about pissing around. Oh, look, so there's, so there's some Nether ore, but we're here for Glowstone. We need glowstone, and without it, we're we're basically you know this whole this whole episode is down the tubes if we don't end up getting glowstone. We spent a lot of time uh, preparing for getting glowstone, and frankly, if if I don't get it, I'm just going to be so mad that I'll rage quit and never play again. Actually, that's probably an, an exaggeration. I'll probably play again. Um, in fact, I'll probably I'll probably even play it again today, but I don't know if I'll record it because of the sheer embarrassment of rage quitting the first time, and then you know coming back. Uh, who does that? Nobody. I mean, Biffa. I love Biffa. He rage quit once, uh, just once, and you know people called him out on it, and they were like, Biffa, you you rage quit back there, and he was like, Yeah, bros. Um, but he said it with his amazing English accent, which I'm not even going to try to emulate. That would be like me trying to do a, a cover of... I don't even know what, what song. Um, Always by Erasure. I couldn't do it. Just be, it, it's, it's, so, it's so good the first time around that anybody that tampers with it... I guess tampers would be a good word. Anybody that tampers with Erasure, you know, they got it coming. Okay, so here we are at the Glowstone. Probably could have been a little bit lower down, because this this Glowstone is just even with the bottom of my feet. Uh, should have made a little platform, perhaps, to catch all the dust that I missed. We don't need a whole lot, actually. We only need, like, four. We only need one Philosopher's Stone, and I'm pretty sure that should last us, like, an entire eternity. Uh, maybe not. I don't... I, I really have no idea. Oh, God, I hear some... some ghasts. And ghasts are never good news. Alright, I don't know how, how much longer I want to be here. I want to get I want to get the hell out before the ghasts start shooting at me. The second I actually see one, shit's going to hit the fan and I'm just going to hightail it out of here. Actually, I'm hightailing out of here now. No sense in waiting around for nothing. I hear from the internet that nether ores explode sometimes when you mine them. So there's going to be no nether ore mining today. Uh, maybe when I get some better resources, I'll consider it, but for now, totally not worth the risk. So, leaving the other, I hope I end up back where I started. Oh, good, I did. And we're just going to head... That's not... There's home. Alright, we're just going to head home. We're not even going to bother doing anything else. Oh, God, the... I swear this this Technic pack is harder. It, there's no there's no doubt in my mind that the Technic pack somehow has increased the difficulty level. Stupid Enderman, you just teleport into the rain. Ugh, Enderman don't care. Enderman is like the most badass Enderman I've ever seen. Come on, shoot him. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I'm just gonna... Oh, fucking leg it. Oh, God. 
Oh, here we go. I'm sorry if my commentary is a little terrible. I'm a little bit tired right now, and frankly, I just I just want to get back to my base. I've got the redstone I need. I've got the diamond I need. Uh, and and all that. I don't even have full health. And I, I, I need to eat some more of those steaks that I cooked. Some delicious steak. I'm just gonna go home. I'm gonna saute up some mushrooms. Um, get a little Worcestershire sauce. And um, you know, curl up with maybe like a like an Agatha Christie novel and my Snuggie, and you know, turn in early. You know that that sounds that sounds pretty good. So here we are back at the base. Oh, thank God, right? Uh, we still don't have a whole lot of stuff going on out here with the machines, but um, this is where I'm going to wrap up today. Oh God, get rid of this stupid nether rack. All this junk in my inventory that we picked up in the nether. We're going to go down. We're going to get redstone. Do I have redstone down there? Yeah, I do. I, oh, I need more of it, though. Get, oh, I need... Oh, fuck, I'll just take the whole stack. Put... Oh, God, we eat some steaks. Don't have any mushrooms. I do have mushrooms, but... You know, it's going to take too long to cook them. We just don't have the... We don't have the time for that. And so, we're going to come over here and look up... Philosopher Stone. Oh, oh God damn it! These controls are so it's like a diamond. Let's. Why does it have the help thing? So it's oh, you can do it either way. We need a diamond in the middle though. That's the one thing you do need. You need a diamond and you need glowstone. Four. And four, and you get a philosopher's stone. Oh man! Now, one thing you can do with this is anytime you right-click, I think, or press Control, Shift and click, Alt and click. I don't know. I don't even know. Oh no! Eh? There's a way to use the philosopher's stone to um, open up a crafting bench wherever you are. I think that's what a, philosoph a philosopher's stone has. Um, Anyway, the other the other thing I want to make as long as we're here, interdiction torch, huh? I want to try and make a. Uh, I guess we don't have time. Next time we're gonna make a transmutation tablet, uh, and that's gonna let us do our transmutation, like I talked about. And uh, once we have a transmutation tablet, we we can. Oh. <laughs> once we have a transmutation tablet, I'll show you guys what we're gonna make. Uses. Okay, maybe not. Alchemist's chest. We're going to make an alchemist chest, which is also in and of itself expensive. And then we're going to use the alchemist chest to create an energy condenser. And that just, that just takes up so much time. And, but fortunately, by that point, we'll have the transmutation tablet. And that'll let us just make as much diamond as we want. And so we'll have diamonds out the ass, we'll have some obsidian, and from that we'll be able to build one of these, which basically means infinite diamonds uh, forever and ever. And then we'll build our quarry. So anyway, thanks for joining me. It's been fun. It's been a really productive episode. Uh, our poor machines are still a standstill, ground to a halt. Uh, by the bureaucracy of uh, energy production. You know, there's... Oh, God, it's so loud. I'm just going to back away from that. This, this whole machine setup... Oh, man, I can't even go in my house. You know, the, the solar panels can't produce energy in the, in the rain, and, you know, we're just... We've kind of ground to a halt, quite literally, because these are kind of making a really deafening grinding noise. But anyway, uh, I appreciate your viewership. Uh, if you like the video, press the like button, because it helps out immensely. Uh, and I'm not just saying that because I'm... Oh God, I'm just going to turn this off. Screw it.
I'm not just saying that because I'm some kind of tool, but <laughs> you know, it, it, it really does help. Uh, and one thing that I've kind of always believed is that, you know, you, I, I make these videos for you guys. Uh, I don't really make them for myself. I mean, I enjoy playing it, but I, I'm, I'm not out to really make any money off of this. And so I wouldn't, I wouldn't put ads on these videos unless you guys were totally okay with it. And if I was going to make uh, videos with ads, I would create a separ separate account so that you guys knew that you were going to be seeing ads. Um, and I was making money off of it. I, I, I think it's kind of wrong when people just put ads on lame videos. So, um, anyway, I really do appreciate your viewership. Like if you liked, if, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, go ahead and subscribe because uh, I'm going to be putting out some, some cool stuff in, in the near future and you'll be able to come watch me screw this up even more than I've already screwed it up. Um, we're going to upgrade this bat box. We're going to build a transmutation tablet. Look at it filling up. Um, there's going to be so much so much good stuff ahead and uh, you guys just you aren't even going to be able to believe your eyes oh man it's, that's incredibly loud is there no way no way to oh there we go oh, I was just tearing through that isn't it look at all that iron we're making oh, it's a beautiful sight sight for sore eyes Anyway, thanks for joining me, and uh, have a good night, guys. Oh.